So I'm going to try and show you on our iPad map um, where we traveled the first day uh, on our way to Orange Beach, Alabama. So this is our iPad. This is Navionics, which is a um, software program that Brad uploaded. It's an app that he uploaded onto the iPad, and he loves it. Um, it's really easy to use. It's all touchscreen and interactive. But where we started was right in here. This is Harbridge Marina in here. We had to, we got into this channel. See these red and greens are all the channel and this white line. So we came out and we went straight into that channel and went out, came down, and literally had to follow this all the way down. See, here's the bottom of Florida right here, coming out of the Tampa, well, not the bottom, coming out of Tampa Bay, sorry. Um, we had to come all the way down here, hitch this one all the way out. See, here's the Sunshine Skyway Bridge right here. So we had to go all the way out here. And if I zoom out and you look, you'll see, here's the bottom, here's Tampa Bay. So we had to come all the way down and out here. Around these keys right here, we came all the way out and then we went up. All the way up. I'm trying to find, here's um, right in here, here's Tarpon Springs. So we were at an island called Ancloak Key, which is right out from Tarpon Springs. See if I can find it. I think this is it right in here. This is Ancloak Key. So we came up, out the bay, down and around, came up here, and hitched right in through this little channel right here, and came up and anchored right in here. And that's where we hit ground and had issues, which you'll find out soon. My battery's getting low. So when I zoom out, you can see where we went. It wasn't very far. We came out, around, down through here, around, down through here, up, and right in there and stopped. Just right around this smidge is all we did for that first day. Sunshine Skyway Bridge. It is the gateway in and out of Tampa Bay. The bridge is 430 feet tall and 21,877 feet long. The clearance under the bridge is 180 feet.
once out of the bay, the waves in the gulf began to change and grow. Eventually, we found ourselves in six to ten foot waves and under a small craft advisory. The seas were so rough that no one dared to go below deck. At one point, Dad tried to go below to get a battery and in a matter of minutes came back up sick. Because of the rough seas and high waves, we didn't eat lunch until late afternoon, and that consisted of a bag of chips because Brad was brave enough to run below and snatch them. Check out our speed. It is on the bottom right of our navigation equipment. We barely had the jib out and were running at around 7 knots. The winds were sustained at 25 and gusted to 40 when we passed through rain bands. It was a rough day with waves 6 to 10 feet and winds 25 knots gusting to 40. Plus, we encountered leftover bands from Tropical Storm Alberto and had to deal with rain and wind. But we survived and made it to Anclo Key. As we came into our anchorage, we were unaware that the area was experiencing really low tides. Our keel is 6 foot 4 inches deep and we ended up running aground and found ourselves stuck on a shoal. At least we got to enjoy this beautiful rainbow while we figured out what to do. Hey, are we ever going to get out of here? So, we are leaving Anclo Key. There's a lighthouse over there, right there, abandoned lighthouse, I'm bumping all over, sorry it's wobbly. We went in to anchor last night near the lighthouse, like our guide said, and because of the tropical storm that had passed, the tides were super high, or super low. So the depth was too low and we got stuck. So we had to wait till 11 o'clock last night and the tide came up and we got unstuck and we could anchor. That was fun. Then we were worried about our anchor all night, but we didn't get a whole lot of sleep. Uh, it was nice today. So far, the sun's out. See how today goes. So this is day two um, of our journey. We started down here at Anclo Key, where you see this little white arrow. There's a little island right there, right here. Here's Anclo Key, and all up in here. These are the Anclo Keys. So we started there. We set a little arrow. And we came all the way up here to Cedar Key. Oop, where that little flag is. So these are Cedar Key up here. So that one was pretty easy. It was a straight shot. No going round and out like before. Just started here, straight up to there. So let me, I didn't show you all of Florida last time. There's Cedar Key where you see that flag. It's the bottom of Florida. We're coming out of Tampa Bay, which is right here. Um, so the first day, we come right here, and then the second day, we shoot across.
sacrifice was torn in many different places on our jib. This was the result of sailing in 40 mile per hour winds from yesterday. Our second day turned out to be a beautiful sail. We could move about the boat with ease and the kids had a lot more fun. As we were enjoying our last couple of miles of sailing before we had to turn into the channel for Cedar Key, we noticed a strange noise. Everybody up here sleeping but Kara and me. Do you hear that creaking noise? What is that? Yeah, hold on. Okay. Next time on Total Serenity Sailing, Brad takes a look at our autopilot to try and figure out what that creaking noise is, and we experience our first toe of shame. <laughs>